In the previous video, I showed you how to edit uh, your front page, but also basically any other page on the site. And within that video, I explained the header and the footer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on both of them. So you're gonna to go to templates, theme builder, here. And I always flick back to the standard uh, viewing. And then what we'll do is we're gonna to go to header, Right, we're gonna hover over and we're gonna edit with the element. We're gonna right click and open in a new tab. Same with the footer, right click, open in a new tab. Now, as you can see, this is the Elementor loading page. Now this loads as quick as your internet will allow it to. If you've got very slow internet, it will take longer to load. As you can see here, we've got the header here. So as you can see, we click on it. There's an image there, it's linking to the, the front page. Here's your menu here. So we can position it however we want there isn't much moving space so for example if we had this button that wasn't here right then we could move it to the right and there'll be a bigger gap between the logo and the menu all right then you've got your cool bank, uh, button so now I've added a bit of uh, coding in here but as you can see that there is if someone uh, clicks on the with their on their mobile and they click on it or even if they're on their laptop or tablet they'll click on it and it will actually automatically phone your your office here's your uh, the number up here again as you can see it's just icons there is the coding again there's the admin and then there is your uh, uh, address so now what I've done is is if they on their mobile if they click on the address it would actually open up Google Maps on their phone or on their on their laptop so now now you say okay so that's a nice header now let's see what it looks like on the tap on the on the mobile so you're going to click this little button down here and you're going to go mobile and there it is there so for example we let's change the height whatever we do in the video tours we won't save it but as you can see we can change the height of the the, the size of the logo now that yes we want it bigger but can you see that this little block here gets smaller when we change the height of the logo the size of the logo so now this is basically how much your header is going to take up so for this section here, we can go uh, text. Let's go down to typography and we'll just change the text. Can you see there? So we'll make it a little bit smaller. There we go there. Now, as you can see here, and let's just change this icon here. We'll just put map. We'll just go like this here. There's a little map icon there. So as you can see now, that's just made it a bit smaller. Okay, then if we had to make the logo a little bit smaller, just like that, now what's happening is, is now that the header is not so full on the mobile. So now we'll update that. Because I think that looks a little bit better. If you don't think it looks better, then you're more than welcome to come in and change it. So that's how you'd edit your header. And as you can see here, you see it hasn't, when I flicked between them, it hasn't changed the, the two sections. All right, so whatever you do here won't affect the mobile, and whatever you do here won't affect the, the desktop, which is a lovely feature. So if we had to go to the footer now, this is the footer. So as you can see here, same function as the header, just like that. There is your logo, just like that. The, that's just a title, saying about the, it's a quick menu. Here is your menu here, which we've added manually. Uh, and that just makes it a little bit easier for the users and that here's your latest blog So these blogs here will be replaced as a, so as I said on the front page when you post another one uh, The latest post will be there So this double one will disappear and the other post will go there and then this is a contact form As you can see there we've got recapture on it to stop the spam, but this is a quick contact All right that and then if you wanted to see what this looks like on the mobile there you are there. So for example, if we, let's say this is 50, let's make that 50 and make that 50. There you go, they sit a bit better now. Okay, so you can play around with it like that. All right, but that's how you edit your footer. And again, whatever you make, whatever you change here will not affect the desktop or the laptop version.